Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have something not spicy and it's sweet and something that I love and I'm hopefully, excited about. Yeah, this is new, so hopefully it'll be yummy. Yeah, have you seen these? They are Betty Crocker No Bake Cookie Dough Bites. What? Cookie Dough Bites. And they have like five flavors. Would have been good if I would have looked this up prior to the video. Yeah. But they had. Um, so what we do have are birthday cake and chocolate chip. Yeah, they had like a peanut butter one and... Which, you know, nut allergy, so we knew that was out. I think there was like a chocolate one. Yeah, like a chocolate truffle or chocolate brownie yeah. or something. Yeah, and I, I think one more. It could have been red velvet or it could have been monster cookie or it could have been... I don't know. I think there's five, though, all together. So... I'm excited. The birthday cake one has a vanilla drizzle over the top, and then the chocolate cookie dough has a chocolate drizzle. Chocolate. So these are no bake. Um, you need one third cup of cream cheese and two tablespoons of butter. Um, basically, just stick it in the microwave for like 20 seconds or so, and then you mix everything up. Yeah. I am a big fan. I, I don't know. You know, with COVID, I don't really... There was a bunch of places getting ready to open slash had just opened when all of this started. And so there was a place that I heard that sold refrigerated cookie dough that you could go in and buy a little pint of it. Oh, yeah. um, but we never got to go to it because all this started. Right. And so, but there is a cupcake place that when we travel, we try to stop at. And, yeah, and I always I have saying. to get some of that. Um, cookie dough but i'm i'm a big i'm more of a cookie dough fan than you are for sure yeah i like I like when you're making toll house cookies the uh, chocolate chip cookies i love that cookie dough like eating it but like the uh, no bake cookie dough stuff or like they have at that place i don't know i wasn't a big fan yeah so i you know i'm I sure this will be terrible and john won't like it but I'm sure that I will. I'm excited to try it. So we're going to make it along with you guys, and then we'll test it and tell you what we think. I got a feeling we're going to have a lot of balls around here. Okay, so this is what the boxes look like. Like we said, we got the chocolate chip. We got birthday cake. It says safe, safe to eat raw. And So that's what it looks like for each one. And yeah, so... One third of a cup of cream cheese and two tablespoons of butter. So now we're supposed to melt it and then we'll add the mix to it and we'll show you that when it's done. All right, so it's out of the microwave. Yeah, it's all soft. And you're just supposed to dump it into a bowl and mix it around. And then there was two things in this box. One is this, it kind of looks like a cake mix. That's in there. And then this little chocolate drizzle that we will get to here in a second. So John's gonna add the cookie dough mix. So we're mixing this up. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit on the drier side. And then we're going to form these into little balls and put them on a plate or a tray or whatever. And then you're just supposed to microwave this um, topping. It just looks like candy melts. And then uh, drizzle them over the balls after you form them and then refrigerate until they're set. Smells just like cookies. Mm -hmm. All right, so that mixed up pretty well. It looks just like cookie dough. Cookie dough. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah. So now John's rolling them into little balls, and then we're going to melt the candy melts and drizzle them on top. Let it refrigerate, and uh, we'll show you how much it makes. I don't think this is going to be a huge batch. It's definitely smaller than a regular batch of Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out like what's the best size to roll these into. 
So they I might think, be different sizes. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it says one inch, but I mean, I say, like, I would lean towards okay. more like those. But what do I know? <laughs> All right, so there's the amount of topping. It's been melted. It looks just like milk chocolate. This is how many the box made. Yep. And now, let's get to drizzling if I can. And try not to make a huge mess here. So then, it doesn't say how long. It just says refrigerate until they set up. So we're gonna drizzle these, we're gonna let it set. I mean, I'm thinking, what, half hour, 45 minutes, maybe? Probably, yeah. Something like that. And then we'll give it a try and tell you what we think. And here is the birthday cake one, obviously. Well, I shouldn't say obviously. Everything is exactly the same on the directions. This one has a white chocolate drizzle, or vanilla drizzle. I think it actually says vanilla. So, we'll just keep mixing this up. Make the balls out of it. So, we're back. Here they are. So, they were super simple to make. Easier than making a cake, even. Oh, for sure. Because there's not oil, there's not eggs. Right. Um, you saw it. It's just mix and cream cheese and butter. Yep. So, we did look up in the meantime. And so, again, as a reminder, we have chocolate chip and we have birthday cake. But we looked up the other flavors. So it also comes in cookies and cream. That sounds good. Yeah. Kind peanut of. butter. I wonder if it's just like cookie bits in the dough. I don't know. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, peanut butter. Uh, lemon. Yeah. Chocolate brownie. Mm. And then these two. And then these two. Yeah. yeah. So, and they run about $3. Right. So you can see it's not a huge amount. And I know that there's recipes online for just making edible dough, right? which we kind of want to try Absolutely. too. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but for a quick, easy... Snack? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. All right. So it's good. I mean, it would probably have be like dessert for a family of four, really, for one night, you know? Yeah. Do we want to like split it or do you want... Sure. Are you, you going to want a whole one? Yeah. No, I don't need a whole one. Thank you. So we're trying chocolate chip. Mm, should we try this one first? Do I don't care? Care. All right, we can try this one. Cheers. Mmm. We're the cookie dough connoisseur. What do you mm -hmm. think? I'm thinking. I wasn't sure if I would like it with the cream cheese because that's a tanginess that's mm. not like in cookie dough. Right. Mmm. But mixed with the mix, it doesn't taste super cream cheesy. No, it doesn't. Sorry, choking. Choking? Or, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to choke. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. It's rich. It does taste like cookie dough. It's rich. It's good for a little snack. Mm-hmm. Tastes like cookie dough. I couldn't eat 50 of those because it is super rich. Right. But probably two or three, like a little truffle or something. Yeah. Those are good. Delicious. All right, so now, birthday cake. Which one do you think you're gonna like better? I think I'm gonna like the chocolate, chocolate chip or chip, chocolate, chocolate chip. There you go. Kind of crumbled a little bit. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It tastes like fun, buddy. Like, mm hmm. Hmm. It's good. This is good. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Um, a They're lot of times good. the birthday cake stuff I'm not a big fan of. Especially, remember those birthday cake cookie dough bites that we got from the box? Or that candy? Ooh, it tastes so chemically. This is not like that. This is really good. Um, yeah. Mm hmm. I love cake batter ice cream, and so if you're a fan of that, you'll like that. Oh, we make our own ice cream. We got an ice cream maker. We could break that up into it. Wouldn't that be good? You can, but I think what they do to make cake batter ice cream is dump, dump a cake batter powder 
add some of that to the a cake mix or just mix it with like some of the liquid like milk or whatever cream or whatever you mm-hmm. would be putting in okay i think that's how they make it i don't know but i want to give it a try but anyways if you like that kind of thing you'll definitely like this i prefer this to the cookie dough but i mean to the chocolate, chocolate. chip it's really good but i like them both yeah it's close for me this one the the chocolate chip one i don't know what it is it just tasted a little, I mean, it is processed, but it tasted, had like a little processed aftertaste to it. And I don't think that that one has that. My thing is for whatever, the sourness that you get or the tanginess from cream cheese, you can taste it a little bit more in the mm-hmm. cookie dough yeah. than you can. I feel like this tastes closer to like cookie Birthday dough. Cake, Birthday uh, cake. Yeah. yeah. Right. Me too. Anyway, but they're both good. They're both worth worth picking up. And if you have tried these, please let us know in the comments. And especially if you've tried any of the other flavors, I'm yeah. dying to know like what the cookies and cream one is like. Mm-hmm. And we're huge fans of lemon. Lemon for sure. I know the peanut butter would be good. I wonder what the topping is. If it's peanut butter drizzle, it looks like chocolate. or if it's chocolate. Oh, it looks see? like chocolate for sure. That would be amazing. Yeah. It's not the giant. I mean, peanut butter and chocolate together? Who ever heard of that? It's not that John couldn't eat it, but I'd be like, <laughs> sad eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, nut allergies are horrible. So for three bucks, yeah, they are. For three bucks, we got like all of these cookie dough balls. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And not much work for it. Super simple. Kids can yeah. absolutely do that. And you don't have to use any equipment other than a bowl and a spoon. Right. And the microwave yep. and the refrigerator. So yeah. super easy. I give that a thumbs up. $3 sure. at Walmart is, you know, where we got it. Betty Crocker kind of does their thing, though. I feel like everything that they put out, you know, they know cake and baking yep. for sure. So And anyways. no bake as well. And that okay. is correct. If you're not following us over on TikTok, we are there. Love and junk, just like we are here. We actually did a TikTok of these. We do a TikTok of a lot of the stuff, but Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, we're also on Instagram. We're there more than we are on TikTok. Instagrams. Yeah, we're on Instagram every day, multiple times a day, usually. And we are love and junk there with no D, so it's L-O-V-E-N-J-U-N-K. Yep. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're yeah. putting out new stuff all the time. And definitely yeah. leave a note in the comments if there's something you want to see us try. We love to interact with you guys. Make sure you hit the little bell. Ding. So you can be notified when our newest video does go up. Yep. Now, if you like cookie dough. You do, for sure. Or cookies. Or yes, just a sweet cookies. treat. Like, I don't even think you have to like cookie dough to like this. If you like cookie dough, you're going to like this. Right. But even if you don't, this is just like a truffle, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll like it. But if you like any of that stuff, or of course, us or the video, or Betty Crocker, give this video a big thumbs up. And that's all we have for today. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye.